My guest today is Raghunath A. Marshalkar. Some call him India's most dynamic scientist. He's done pioneering work in polymer science and engineering, but he's also shaped India's science and technology policies, India's patent regime. For 13 years, he served as Director General of CSIR, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, a chain of 38 publicly funded R&D institutes. His aim was, let's take science out of the labs, to the people, to the factory floors, and make it relevant. He made some serious headway on that front. Dr. Marshalkar, thank you very much for joining us thank you. today. We're here in Pune at the National Chemical Laboratory. It's a place where you also served as director before your CSIR stint, and you're here again. But I want to go back to the beginning, to the 50s. A young boy who went barefoot to school, studied by street lamps, two meals a day, and it was a tough life. What were those years like? Yes, it was uh, indeed a, a tough life. Uh, you know, I was born in a very poor family. My father died when I was six. Uh, my mother came to Bombay. She practically did manual work to bring me up. Uh, two meals a day was a huge issue. I did walk barefoot until I was 12. I did study under street lights. I remember those days when uh, I went to a Marathi school a municipal school, passed the seventh standard with flying colors. I stood first with 88 percent. But to get admission into the secondary school required uh, admission fee of 21 rupees. And to uh, generate that money took us uh, almost three weeks, you know. So those were very, very hard times uh, indeed. Uh, I uh, passed SSC, the 11th standard exam from the board standing 11th among 135,000 students, but was about to leave the school because my mother couldn't afford uh, uh, me to continue studies, you know. And uh, came Sir Dharap uh, Tata Trust Scholarship, 60 rupees per month for six years. You know, 60 rupees a month did not take away much from the Tatas, but added so much value to my life. To your life? Yes. What made you turn to science? I believe it was something your principal, uh, who was also your physics teacher, said to you, which made you choose the field of science. Yes, absolutely. You know, I, as I said, it was very difficult to get admissions in top schools because I ran out of time because those 21 rupees took so much time to get. So finally, I ended up in a school called Union High School. And uh, we, I had uh, a, a physics teacher, uh, Bhave sir, as we used to call him. And I remember on a Friday afternoon, he took us out into the sun to actually show to us how to find the focal length of a convex lens. He had a piece of paper. He had that convex lens. He moved it up and down till there was a bright point. And he said, this is the focal length. And then he held it for a little while, and uh, the paper burnt. And for some reason, he turned to me, and he said, you know, uh, Mashalka, like this, if you focus your energies, you can uh, burn anything, you can achieve anything. Now, it did two things for me. One, it gave me philosophy of life. Focus and you can achieve anything. Two, I said the power of science is so fantastic, I must become a scientist. That's how I became a uh, scientist. You know, I look at your academic record. You had a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from Bombay University. You got offers to study abroad and then you did have some brief stints uh, in the UK and the US, but you chose to come back to India fairly early. Why was that? Oh, that's uh, very interesting. I remember uh, Dr. Naiduma, who was then the Director General of CSIR, a position that I subsequently was to occupy, came to London. Uh, Mrs. Gandhi, who was then the Prime Minister, was sick and tired of our young people, uh, you know, wanting to come back, not getting an opportunity. Harbans Khurana came, he didn't get a job, went to US and got a Nobel Prize. So there's a big uh, discussion on why this happens. And she told Dr. Naiduma, just go, look at the best and the brightest, and invite them. Let them not send applications and form filling and so on and so forth. So I simply got a message from Dr. Naiduma. He's coming to London. He met me in Savai Hotel, just a half an hour inspirational talk. And he talked about the new India that was emerging. I was in my early 30s, you know. Uh, I had a wonderful job, a house, a car, everything. And he made an uh, offer to me. and I. You know, I, I don't think from here, I think from here. I just said yes. Phoned up my wife in the evening and I said, you know, the nation is calling us, let's go back. And she's a great lady. She said, let's go back. 
That's why I came on a princely salary of 2,100 rupees per month uh, in this laboratory, National Chemical Laboratory. November 15, 1976, I still remember my first day. पिढ़ान पिढ़ान सा चालू असले ला हाँ सुरान सा प्रवास पंडित रामदास कामत अनि तंचे नाथ दीपाली कामत पंडित जी तैनात तुम्ही इक्क्या भूमिका केरा मंजे अठरा नाटक तुम्ही संगीत रंगभूमि में अठरा नाटक के लिए बेचना रंगभूमि बाप रे बाप रे तो जब बेग बेगड़ा तरह चा भूमिका तुम्ही केलात मैं सगत बाजी नवीन नाटक पे की बाजी भूमिका कचाची भूमिका मुझे यायाते अन्य देवाये ने नाटक ली भूमिका तीमार खूब आवर्ते अतिशय आवर्ते कंटेंट की भाषा तांगलिया है भूमिका तांगलिया है अन्य त्यातो अविष्कार में तांगले तरने केला असम बालावट अंत्याचे ते गानी खूब तांगलिया थी खूब बाला गानी आवर्त है तेजत में या बरोबर ही ना तुम्हें भक्ति संगीत अलग जवाब के लिए त्याग वाला तुम्हें भावगीतान से एक वेगरा नवीन युग आंडला तो मंजे निर्गुणा से भेटी है ते गाना है कि वा अनेक भावगीता या मधे जो सूर पक्का कि वा गोड़ नहीं त्याग करते हैं संतुत भला स्मिता तेरी कि गाना गाता ना त्याग तो भाव लक्षण ख्याला पाजे भावना लक्षण ख्याला पाजे मैं नुस्ता गाने नहीं गातो तो मैं गाय के गातो तो अंत्याचे भावना गातो तो त्याग गाने तारसा समझो ख्याला पाजे तो त्याग प्रमाण में गातो तुम्हारे गुदान दाखो दाखो तुम ताकि भावना ख्याल आ पाएंगे तो तिला कुछ देवाएं इनला प्रेमात महत्व समझाऊं सांतु कि आशा तो प्रेमान वाक सगाई चमुन तो मुख कैसे बना ला पाएंगे प्रेम वरदान स्मरसदा प्रेम वरदान स्मरसदा असे भवा मंडे तो भाव अनि भावना लक्षण क्यों नहीं गाने में मरते हैं भाव की दिखाया भक्ति की दिखाया कुछ भी तो भाव क्यों नहीं गाने का गाना पंडित जी मला यानी कि तो ना कभी बरे और गंगाधर महामरे आप तक मधे आज नहीं है पर तनी एक संगीत लिया मला आठ होन खूब अता आठ होती है मुद्दा ना साहबे विराने हे जे गाना है कि रामा� ते गाने जे आहे तेच्छे एक अठोंड तुम चाकरे खूब छाने हैं यानी तनी बेस कॉम्प्लीमेंट त्या गाने ला दिलाओ त्या ते गाना सा है ना साहबे विराने ना साहबे विराने सौख्यात गायले ली रामायण Shashwadi na sahve virani 